Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi and good day everyone. Uh, today we're going to discuss question common test August 2016 question 2. As you know question 2 is on uh, MFRS 1 through 8 intangible asset. Let us start now. If you read the question You would see that the, the this is question part part two a intangible assets are identified as non monetary assets without physical substance, and if you can still recall, this is the definition of intangible asset: identifiable non monetary asset without physical substance. And uh, the question gives you example, motion pictures, customer lease, customer loyalty. Uh, bear in mind that um, this is only an intangible asset if that was separately acquired. Nonetheless, an intangible asset is an intangible asset if it has the recognition criteria based on MFRS 138. So the question asks you, what are the for recognition criteria you are asked to explain so that recognition criteria and that was for four marks let's look at the answer uh, the four recognition criteria if you can still recall in our lecture, in our uh, previous lecture, uh, it was the first one is identifiable. Uh, the word identifiable or the terms identifiable means that the intangible asset is separable from the entity. Separable means it arises from contractual or other legal rights. So that was enough for identifiable because uh, the marks allocated is just four marks so you are given marks here and the marks here next one is the second item which is control over resources so you are said to have control over the resources the intangible asset is if let's say uh, you have the power as the reporting entity to obtain benefits from using the intangible assets and restrict others from having the same benefit or having access to that. The third one is the third criteria was future economic benefits. The word future economic benefits is uh, also something to do with uh, having the probable future economic benefits where if you use it, you will be able to bring about extra revenues, maybe extra revenue from the sale of the product. The third one, not only sale for the, of the product, but sale of the services. That was the third one. The fourth one is that the cost can be reliably measured. Cost can be reliably measured. When we talk about cost, we are talking about the in initial cost of the intangible asset. So for that discussion or for that explanation, you'll get four marks. Next, question 2B. Question 2B, you ask about, if you read at the requirement, it is asking you to explain the accounting treatment of the two intangible assets, which is at the bottom. But before you can do that, you may have to read the question first. During the year ended the 1st of December 2015, this is the year end 
Uh, Mildura claimed that the company's goodwill, company's goodwill, they claim the, that the company's goodwill has reached a total amount of six million, and this goodwill arises from attributes such as a good location, technological competency, and reputation. At the same time, the company also the company also acquired the word there is acquired. The word acquired here is important because it shows that it is a separate acquisition from another company and that was through a contract uh, agreement. Remember the first criteria of identifiable. So this means that it is identifiable. Amounted to 10 million. 10 million means that it can be reliably measured. And it, that exp will be able to help the company generate generate more income when you say generate more income you're relating to one of the criteria future economic benefits right and therefore since since you are the one that have acquired the customer list through a contract agreement this also give you what you call the control so all one two three four criteria have been met for this customer list you asked to explain the accounting treatment so for the accounting treatment you need to mention on whether or not you uh, on initial recognition whether you can recognize whether you can recognize the asset if yes how, why do you recognize let's see what are the key points here hmm Internally generated goodwill. Remember, it was not acquired. It is being prohibited. So this is an important word. Prohibited from what? From being recognized. So it was not allowed to be recognized. We get some ticks there. Because it cannot be distinguished separately. So you cannot distinguish whether or not the, book, the sales that has been increased Increasing from time to time is due to the goodwill or due to other factors. And it, it cannot be separate, uh, separated from the business as a whole since it cannot be controlled. So because of this, um, it does not fulfill the recognition criteria of identifiable, cannot be identified, it cannot be controlled. Yeah. And then um, there it cannot be the problem there is no future economic benefits that are probable and the last one the cost cannot be reliably measured so they do not fulfill that recognition criteria let's look at the second part which is the one on customer list so customer list can be recognized why because it meet the recognition criteria and then you go on explaining again about the four criteria you have to explain just like similarly to the way you explained before remember the identifiable control over resources future economic benefits and costs can be measured reliably and don't forget to put how much is the cost.
which is 10 million okay make sure you put the important point okay let's move to the next one next question not next question it is a part of a question Oh, it suddenly pop back to the question. We'll open it back again. No worries. Okay, we go to question 2C. Question 2C is on R&D, but it's a simple one. So you have liver polo. Okay, liver polo. Maybe inspired by Liverpool fan club, I think. Um, undertake a project which is both on a research and development. So they uh, uh, have this uh, development project. And these are the development costs. So when you read a question, make sure you know that what are the statements referring to. Here, all the cost items here are referring to the development cost, Meaning that all this here... If nothing is being stated, it is a development cost or part of the thing that will be used in the development project. Okay. But we still need to go and scrutinize the information. So following are the development costs. So you need to go and check whether or not this can be capitalized or that can be expense of uh, material cost. So remember, this is material cost during development. So it has to be capitalized. Maybe it has reached that advanced stage. If you read at the bottom part here, where all costs incurred met the capitalization, criteria met the capitalization criteria means the future economic benefit is probable okay this met the criteria yet maybe at certain stage you may have to register your invention innovation or product you go and patent them you go and train maybe some of the staff but that is not part of the cost to be capitalized so this will be expense of you may have to borrow and you pay for the borrowing so this is the interest on borrowing so interest must be expense of initial operating losses so losses are expenses so shouldn't be included selling and administrative overhead they are expenses shouldn't be included and depreciation on equipment you need to read what you have at the bottom of it so the depreciation of equipment 40 percent versus 60 percent 40 percent is for research so if it's for research it should be under research cost and it has to be expense of the next one, the 60% are for the development cost. And you are informed that development cost here met the capitalization criteria. So if that is the case, you need to go and capitalize. So when you capitalize, meaning that out of this 250000 60% will be under development cost and 40% will be under research cost. Okay, let's look at the answer. So based on the analysis that we did earlier on whether or not it should be capitalized or whether or not it can be written off 
the first one material costs yeah material costs registration fee for patent borrowing costs and 60% of the depreciation which is 150 so that gives you 10.735 so what happened to the costs that were not capitalized the costs that were not capitalized are being expense of so when you expense of a cost that does that is uh, related to research cost we are talking about revenue expenditure Okay, that is the situation. The costs that are capital expenditure will be this one. So this will be capitalized as development costs, and this is part of intangible asset in the where is it in the soft B under known current asset that's it for this video i will see you when i will see you have a great day ahead assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh